In this tutorial, we will show you how to download and update the Mate 3 to the latest firmware. Along with your computer, you will need a Mate 3, SD card, and a card reader or SD card slot. First, we must download the latest firmware version from the Outback Powers website. Open your browser and go to www.outbackpower.com. From the home page, hover your mouse over to support. From the drop down menu, click on firmware. Then click on the red Mate 3 hyperlink. On this page, you will have two versions. One is for the Optics RE and the other is for the traditional non-Optics RE firmware. We will choose the Optics RE version and download the latest of the two. Google Chrome will automatically start downloading the folder containing the firmware files. You can monitor the progress in the bottom tab of the browser. Regardless which browser you use, all files get downloaded and saved into your downloads folder. Now. Click on the File Explorer tab pinned to the taskbar, then double click on the Downloads folder. In here, we will find the firmware folder titled Mate 3 plus New Revision. Before we move on, we must uncompress the firmware zip folder. Right click the folder and select Extract All. Then click on Browse to pick where you want to send the extracted files. We will select the same location we are on, the Downloads folder. Then click on Extract. Once the task is finished, you will see additional files. These are firmware update files that we need. We will keep this window open. Now, insert the SD card into either the card reader or the card slot if your computer has one. We will now format or erase this card before copying the firmware files. Note, if you wish to save any existing files, you will need to move them into another folder. Right-click anywhere into your desktop and click on New and then Folder. Give it a name and press Enter. Double click on the new folder. Move your new folder window and the SD card window side by side. From the top right, press on the Select All tab. Click on your existing SD card files and drag them to your new folder created on your desktop. Now that we have secured your wanted files into a new folder, we can close that window. Back to the SD card window, right-click the removable drive icon and select Format. From the pop-up window, make sure your system type is selected for FAT. Then press Start and OK to the warning. Press OK once completed and close the Format window. Open the SD card once more and move both the SD card window and the Firmware Files window side by side. Select all firmware files and drag them into the SD card. You may delete the zip folder since it's no longer needed. Make sure you have five files. Screens, web files, M3E, M3E THEV3, and README text. Then, right click on the SD card icon from the left plane and select Eject. Remove the SD card from your computer and insert it into the Mate 3 memory slot with the pins facing you. Disconnect the Ethernet cable from behind the Mate 3. From the home screen, press Lock. Enter your user password of 141 and press Enter. Go to Settings, then System, and scroll down to Clear Internal Data Log. Confirm by pressing yes and press continue. Press up twice to go back to the main menu. Scroll down for firmware update and press enter. Select Mate 3. In here, it will display the version found in the SD card. Make sure that it's the version we downloaded. If not, you will need to load the files again. Press update, copying files. Note. It is important not to press any buttons or unplug the Mate 3 during this process. Updating Ethernet processor. Updating main processor. It will cycle and go back to the main screen.
Warning, to prevent permanent damage of the device, allow an additional two minutes for the update to complete before you press any buttons. Finally, after the two minute wait, power cycle the Mate 3. Reconnect the Ethernet cable and allow the Mate 3 to connect to your network.